Is this a Chinese ripoff of League? Um, I'm trying to say something. I'm trying to think of something to justify um, to it not, but it is. It, it, it is very knockoff League of Legends Wild Rift. It is um, Do you want to try and type 10 years ago? Yeah, they probably made this because... Wait, I'm support on it. Um... Yeah, it's just quite un uncanny, for sure. Be my battery on my phone started to run like, don't break the feed. We good? Wait, what's going on there? Stunned? Okay. And there's a little rat there too with a bag of money. I do think like having like these little um random like killable objective thingies is quite cool. Assemble. Uh, the Avengers assemble. Oh man, I missed everything, dude. I might be in a bit of trouble here. Oh, I couldn't get my recall off. I only went in there because this guy wanted to go in there and he left me. Oh, no, it's fine. We baited them. It's okay. We're all planned. Oh my god, that is annoying. Assemble! <laughs> this is so toxic, the things. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Way on the Assemble. Assemble. Charge. Charge. Nice, I killed one. Let's go. Okay, I got my ultimate now. Let's go. Let's assemble. What the hell are these pigs? These pigs are like awful, but Oh man. I'm actually gonna have to aim. Is it guys dodging things? Um I might be in a bit of trouble here. I'm alright. This guy's stealing jungle. Wait, how can he see me though? Like? Wait, everyone's assembling? Everyone took the TP? Hi. <laughs> Everyone took the teleport? Hey, it worked! Wee! Five man light lane get what the hell? An enlightened heart cannot be extinguished easily. That's crazy that's a global though, that anyone can take that. Anywhere on the map. What the hell? We're losing top though. Pretty hard. I am a Are we assembling? An enlightened heart cannot be extinguished easily. Oh, the double knockup. Oh my god, I'm amazing, guys. An enemy has 
Nice. Oh. People can teleport here if they want to. So wall. Emptiness and loneliness can only be dispelled by warm light. I do think that like level baby Sona character is pretty strong though. Nice. Are we playing this? Are we gamers? Nice, you took the teleport, let's go. Are we gaming? I'm dying. I'm deading. Oh, I forgot to use that disrupt thing. I don't even know what that does. Oh, we're not gaming, apparently. How do I do emojis? Oh, that, that's the emojis. They're not even working. Forgotten names are swallowed by the tides, drowning in bubbles of sentimentality. <clears throat> they can drag the chat icon? Okay. Wait, what? Not working. Oh, I had to double tap it. Go, 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 go. Assemble. 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 Oh, they are. Did they assemble? They're assembling. I feel like we're losing now, though. <coughs> Assembled us, but they assembled too uh, too late. Oh no, I'm refusing to surrender. This is winnable. Disrupt as an Omerica? I think it's a player, like a stunner or something. Maybe I can assemble us again. Okay. Enemy godlike. Enemy double kill. Double kill. Oh no, they missed everything. We killed three, and we lost two. But yeah, but I just feel like we're losing though. What's the scores right now? They got someone on the team with nine kills. Assemble. They're doing one of the objectives. Probably can't really stop that, can I? Are they doing this? Oh, they're not even doing it. But they did the other one.
They're all mint. I imitate the ebb and flow of the tides, so as not to lose my way on the battlefield. You fought redemption. Tap it to give your teammates a three-second steal. Oh no, I'm getting absolutely destroyed here, aren't we? Oh, pick knockout. I'm pushing in top right now. Got a little bit of a sneaky spit push going. Ah, uh, they managed to get recall off. Nice. Play minions for a while. Of the tides, so as not to lose my way on the battlefield. That's a fight going on up here. I got interrupted. Okay. Nice, this guy's kicking ass. And bot apparently. Uh oh. Assemble. Nice. Uh oh. Not so nice. Is it because I got looking down at my mobile? <clears throat> Sheesh, what is that damage? now this wasn't looking good this guy what is that dude guy is just stabby stabby stab slash you gonna win can he solo the game now I'm gonna die maybe i should have ultied him out of there maybe they got lucky I'll just wait. An ally has been slain. Oh no, we've lost two people. We need to be actually careful now. Top's pushing in a bit. A broken miracle is better than none. A futile hope is better okay, than none. Okay, we got big guy. Oh, I've got the knockoff off. Nice. Huge. I'm speeding them up. Alright, this guy's going crazy right now. He's finishing. Okay, cool. He's basically what, Garen then? The spinny dude. Victory. 
Well, 100% win rate. Apparently I need to give some likes after the fight, after the match. Yeah, this water lady is quite cool. Why do I like the uh, the female water supports in these MOBAs, man? Is it me, or has the world gone crazy? <clears throat> Easy Sly. Um, how's the MOBA? Um, it's fine. Like it's. Very snowbally, I feel. Um, I don't know. I haven't played. I've only played like four games, and so far it feels very overwhelming, as any MOBA usually does feel like. Anyway, when you're first playing, <coughs> I'm not a fan of like the rune system, where you have like extra stats going into a game like kind of like how old League of Legends rune system used to be if you ever did that do I play with viewers um yeah I do but at the moment I'm just chilling by myself but I'll um I'll accept that later on um yeah I don't know I don't know how I feel about the game at the moment I think it's at the moment it's like a classic, just a classic mobile game. There's like loads of things to claim. There's a bajillion different currencies. It's all quite overwhelming in terms of both out of game and in game. Like there's all these claimable things all the time. Everything to claim at all times apparently. Apparently I got like three skins there. I could buy with real life money or I think I can get one for free every day or something. So that's kind of nice that they're giving out a bunch of free stuff. Um, in terms of gameplay, like the game feels fine. It's like, is it better than Wild Rift though? That's like the, the, the main question, like, right? Is there a point to playing this over Wild Rift? I haven't played Wild Rift for a while. Um, Cracker knights have no life in them until I wind them up. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure if this is better than Wild Rift, though. What the hell? He wants to try and dox me? Not now. Please, no doxing now, please. <laughs> that was a bit scary. Let's jump into another match. Um, but yeah, is this better than Wild Rift? I don't know. Actually, it's very similar, if I'm going to be completely honest. You are the roamer. What does that mean? Does it just mean I'm the support, right? Yeah. For these skins, man. Getting like massive Genshin impact vibes from this. Sublime scenery. It's pretty pretty. I'm assuming that's not obtainable. It's just this is from events, doesn't it? <clears throat> What's this? This is a new MOBA that just came out today in global release. I don't think it's like new new. I think it's been out for a while, but it's a th this is like global release today. So I thought I'd try it out.
since my thing is MOBAs, apparently. <laughs> Don't break the connection. Any opinions? Um... I think some of the characters that I've played have had some kind of nice uniqueness to it, uh, like their abilities, but they're also at the same time, like, this is, I need to unplug this and plug this back in again, I think we're good. Like a cross between, like, Lee characters, like when I was playing a character, it was basically Ari and Syndra in one. Should not see. Okay, annoying for him. I do like these little, like, other objectives to do in the lane. I think that is kind of cool. Play more of the roaming role. Let's head towards mid and get stuck inside the pit. That's quite cool. Well, I play support a lot in League, so I guess that's sort of the same thing. Okay, cool. I nearly got away. Right, I just had a recall from here, I guess. An ally has been slain. Assemble! Forgotten names are swallowed by the tides, drowning in bubbles of sentimentality. An ally has been slain. This is the will of. Guys, got 50 dashes apparently. Huh. Alright, I've got my ultimate now. Maybe we can do some like cool ganks or something. There's something here. Stealth on my face. Assemble onto that if they want to, if they want to take that TP. An ally has been slain. Killing spree. Is she gonna die from that though? Yeah. Okay, cool. I think this is the first game that I'm like losing at the moment. <clears throat> Are you able to change your spell before the game? Well, the, the recall one is always leveled up. It's like if you're playing Yumi in League, like that ability is always going to be given for you. An ally has been slain. I imitate the ebb and flow of the tides, so as not to lose my way on the battlefield. I mean, disrupt. Oh, I can probably change that to something else. I don't actually use that at all. I still actually don't know what it does. Right, people can tie the portal onto that if they want to. A lot of crap I'm sure that about. Yeah, we 
I don't seem to be doing too hot. Emptiness and loneliness can only be dispelled by warm light. It's a weird robot Annie, that thing. A broken miracle is better than none. A futile hope is better than being lost. Need people to take the teleport. Oh my god. Like I didn't die. Huge. An enlightened heart cannot be extinguished easily. Whoa, what's that? Your turret has been destroyed. Let's go back. A broken miracle is better. Having to recall a lot more. Where are they? So as not to lose my way on the battlefield. It's good enough, huh? Maybe we fight this. to find myself like constantly having to reset in order to get HP back again. An enlightened heart That's a touch field of the game. The game, the buttons respond, the buttons are responsive. The game doesn't feel like I'm lacking at all and stuff. Servers are fine. Take my teleport. Okay, he died. Yeah, that guy that's just like teleporting around and stuff does a lot of damage. Especially considering I've got like armor, right? He apparently got like plus 210 defense, which I'm assuming is a good chunk. Skill 2 is like recall, like a recall that you can put down so other people can take it. What does this disrupt do? Maybe it is against towers. I might lose my first game. So it is Rome Wrecker. Cannot be extinguished easily. An ally is so dead. Guess I'm about to die too. <clears throat> yeah, I guess we're just super, super far behind. Two, seven, three, four, three, five. What's the enemy team like? Eight, four, five, one, six, four. I'm not gonna support my way out of this. I don't think. This is looking a bit donezoed. Way on the battlefield. 
Ow. Man, the amount of, like, burst damage in this is insane. Like, as someone that has, like, tank stats, I think, or at least some tank stats, it seems crazy to me that I'm dying as fast as I am. Taking the teleport. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if there's a way to come back from this. Because this is like the problem is like if they're able to run around and sustain and be relatively high HP, they never have to go back to base. And if they never have to go back to base, then we can never really do wave clearing or like any jungle or anything at all ever. But I guess it does ensure that the game time stays pretty low. Because I know like uh, Wild Rift game length can go on. Spam and surrender as well. It's just like League. I'm assuming there's not too much I can do to defend this. You can just ignore me here, right? Oh, my first L. It's like a four or five win streak. Defeat. Yeah, I think. The pinnacle of progress is to command. Like, I think overall the game is fine. Like it's a fight. It's like it's it's a game, right? The game's like okay, but when you compare this to something like Wild Rift, I don't really feel like this game offers anything more than Wild Rift. I don't know if anyone wants to like challenge me on that, but I feel like it's Wild Rift, but worse. If I'm gonna be honest. Like everything in terms of like the UI looks like Wild Drift as well. <laughs> oh, League. Um, it really kind of is just feels like knockoff vibes, honestly. And I don't feel like there's anything. There's like no USP here, like no unique selling point. There's nothing. There's no individual mechanic here or anything that's like oh, okay. This this is a twist on on the current MOBA genre. It's just the same thing. You know what I mean? It's just, but just like more Chinese vibed, I guess. Because there's, there's nothing here that I can think of that is adding more to the gameplay experience than anything else on the market. It's really weird how there's like not even anything kind of not one thing I can think of in any of the five games I've done that has made me go okay well that's different to League, different to Wild Rift, different to Hero is the Storm, different to Dota. There's like nothing. I'm really trying to think of anything.
Have you tried Mobile Legends? I played it a little bit before Wild Drift came out just so I could practice mobile gaming. <laughs> There's Marco Polo in this game. That's true. That is true. Um. Yeah, okay. There is one thing. The little neutral camp things in the lanes, that is actually legitimately one cool thing that I liked. There's like, okay, there's another little thing to do in the lane and contest over, like, kind of properly. I do, did kind of like that, in a way. That's something different. So yeah, I, I guess it's like the wild drift formula, but the um, just like you know, the, the the champions are slightly different. I haven't played wild drift for a year, so I don't know what that game's like now. But I feel like the stuff in there, like I, they've literally, there's, it's just so eerily like uncanny, like wild drift, like the how everything looks like it too, like the river and the. The land, the terrain, the map format is just exactly the same. It's crazy. How it's just... You would have thought by now, like... Someone would have come up with something different in the mobile, mobile genre to, like, make it different. But it's just... Honestly, it's just the same thing. And I don't really see myself playing this, unfortunately. Um, this isn't something that I'm going to be playing in my spare time, really. It was worth checking out for at least a little bit, because it did release today, but... Honestly, there isn't really anything here that impresses me. I think maybe the only people that have been playing this a lot are people that don't want to switch to Wild Rift, because this game came in their, out in their region before Wild Rift, apparently. But... Yeah, I don't know. And I'm not sure about this whole, like, rune system seemingly a little bit paid to winny as well. Like, you can pay to get more of these Arcana rune buff things. This rune system is something I'm not a fan of. Like, I, I don't like out, outside stats and stuff. Like, there's a reason why Lee got rid of the rune system, like, ten years ago. Um, it's the same with like Mobile Legends, how skins literally made you stronger. Like, if you had vanilla skin, if you are poor, you were literally weaker than someone that's playing the exact same champion that has a skin. Like, that is just crazy. In a competitive game, and you, have, you can pay to get stronger, it's just... Yeah. Not cool. Alright. Imagine if they could just the same and they have a $500 skin. Like, the $500 skin, right? Obviously, um... Let me switch to a different scene. <coughs> Wrong one. Wrong one. Um... A bit looking a bit blurry because my light isn't on. Um, yeah, five hundred dollar skin is fucking stupid, right? But at least they're not paying for power, right? Could you imagine if Riot had skins that were power based? Imagine day one, like League was just like, yeah, if you have a skin, you get like plus five AP and plus five AD, and then you know. Over the years, released legendary skins and stuff, and then it's oh, this skin actually gives you like plus ten instead, for like twenty pounds, and then yeah, that the five hundred dollar skin would be like oh, oh, well, you get thirty a thirty AP, crazy. Community's already complaining about pay to win skins and leap of spell effects. Yeah, I mean, I get it, I get it completely. Um, I feel like there could be an option in the client where it's like you can turn off seeing other people's skins. Maybe there's a way for them to do that where it's like you can choose to only have default models on or something. That would be kind of cool, I guess. Um, but yeah.